What's going on YouTube, GSN right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you who are still on iOS 11, an untethered jailbreak has been achieved and demoed by Jake Blair. Now if you go ahead here on Twitter, there is this account in here who apparently created the uh, Totally Not Spyware, which is another jailbreak, this time for iOS 10, that can be triggered from Safari. Now this account in here, who weirdly enough mentions IB Sparks, which is Ben Sparks, the Meridian jailbreak developer, little Lalo, another developer, Saigusa and Stake29, which are indeed other developers, so I cannot help but think that this is some sort of collective account. Anyways, they posted in here, quote, spicy iOS 11 untethered demo. Now for those of you who are new to the scene and do not know what an untethered jailbreak is, I do not blame you, we did not have an untethered jailbreak since iOS 9. So an untethered jailbreak is a jailbreak that persists if you reboot, which means that after you reboot, you get back into a jailbroken state, which means you do not have to press anything to open any application, to sideload anything with uh, CDA Impactor, or to go to any website or stuff like that. Once the device has fully booted, it will be jailbroken. So no intervention from the user. Now, they posted this video in here, which is fairly long, 2 minutes 41, in which they apparently jailbreak an iOS 11 iPad. Now, I know that the uh, iOS 12 is all the rage right now, and everybody is waiting for an iOS 12 jailbreak and all that jazz, but an untethered jailbreak for the iOS 11 is definitely something interesting, at least for the people who are still running that. So you can see that they are pretty much rebooting the iPad in here, it shows the Apple logo. There is of course no customization on the Apple logo and the reason for that is that this is an untethered jailbreak but not based on an iBoot exploit, which would therefore lead to a custom logo. So this is just untethered and if you go ahead in here, it boots up into the normal iOS but a few uh, seconds or a minute into it, you're going to see that the auto automatically start respringing the uh, device at some point, which as you can see it did happen in here, and at that point the uh, jailbreak will be applied automatically. There was no intervention in the video other than a few pens here and there to show you that the uh, theming has been applied. Yeah, so as you can see here, the jailbreak has already been applied and of course CDA is running and the theme is running and all that stuff. So if you take a look in here, this is pretty much CDA being loaded and all that stuff. So yes, is this real? Well, very likely because the Jake Blair account in here seems to have something in common with Ivy Sparks, which is the Meridian jailbreak developer, Little Lalo, which is an iOS security researcher or developer, something along those lines, Saigusa and Stake29, which are both security researchers on iOS. And this account in here has provided the totally not spyware jailbreak in the past, which was a legitimate iOS 10 jailbreak triggerable from the Safari, so using a WebKit exploit. Now, a very important thing to keep in mind is that there was no a ATA given, so absolutely no download link for the moment and absolutely no ATA on when it will be available. This is just a demo and it goes to show that it's possible to jailbreak untethered the iOS 11, but of course no ATA has been given, so please do not go and nag this account in here with when you're going to post it or when you're going to release it questions, because of course they will probably block you. They might release it at some point, they may not, I do not know, but apparently it's definitely possible to still jailbreak untethered in 2019, which is still very very nice. Now I'm not entirely sure which exploit are they using, probably multipath combined with some persistence exploit in code signing or stuff like that, I do not know. But yeah, we may be able to get more information soon about this in here, but yes, it does look legitimate, it does look like an iOS 11 untethered demo, and this is actually something pretty big, because we haven't seen a jailbreak that is untethered since iOS 9. And if you take a look in here, that is a very long time ago. So long ago that many devices do not even have support for iOS 9. They never came with iOS 9. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it's been a long time. So when this gets released, if ever, it will support iOS 11 probably all the way out to iOS 11.4.1 because this is the iOS 11 range. So if you're still running that, you may be on luck. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and follow Jake. 
display on here. I'm not entirely sure if this is an account in itself or if it's an account that is collectively being used by IB Sparks, Little Lalo, Saigusa and Stick. But anyways, go ahead and follow it because it's definitely important and you may be interested in their progress with the untethered jailbreak. So yeah, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow and until the next time, peace out.